I do also think that this Beesmus will probably be the hardest one ever we have. Collect a right facing stump snail sticker. Now that is impossible. Like OMG guys, this quest is gonna be impossible for most people. Like I'm not even trolling, barely anyone is gonna complete this. Collect nine honeybee bear stickers like bro, why is this quest bro, what is this quest? And a small shield sticker like bro, how is this real, why on it, oh my god. No, please don't do this bruh. All of the brand new Beesmus quests have just been leaked that are going to be coming out in this upcoming Beesmus that is really soon because it could be any time now really since it's the summer and they have also been confirmed by Onnit so they are real but right anyway though let me actually show you everything that we do have because yes Onnit did say something about it about all those leaks and I'll show the actual quest leaks in a second too because now make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already as we're insanely close to 100,000 subscribers and you just don't want to miss out on the information like this for example and I mean we're actually actually insanely close to 100,000 subscribers right now. But yeah, so let me actually show you what Onnit said first because that is actually really important. So we have Onnit saying the leaks have stickers as rewards when they are actually quest tasks and you will see that soon and stickers you will need to collect to give to the NPCs because yes, this Beesmus will be all about stickers and you will see that in a second as well because most of the quests are quite sticker heavy and different players have to gather different stickers to give. So I'm guessing if you were like end game, you will have to give NPCs their hardest stickers. If you are like early game, you will have to give these or like mid game, the in the middle ones. And then he also said the quests aren't final, but that's why they do appear so easy. So they will probably be changed a bit, but this is mostly what they will look like already. And not that much will probably even be changed from this. But right, so let's actually start with the Black Bear quests now and make our way up. So credit to Beast Swarm Leaks as well for leaking this, but the Black Bear's Honey Reef quest and rewards is actually collect 5,000 white pollen collect 25 honey tokens, collect 10 tokens from leaves, and find one hidden sticker on a surface around the map. So you will actually need to have the sticker seeker unlocked, but that's kind of easy to have. Then the rewards are actually 10,000 honey, 5 tickets, 1 paper planter, 1 field dice, 5 honey cycles, and 10 snowflakes. So I mean, it's okay, but it's, you know, black bear, so it's obviously not going to give you anything crazy. Then we have mother bear's gingerbread house, and we have collect 25,000 pollen from the sunflower field, collect 25 treat tokens, and I'm guessing the reward for that will just be like 50 trees, 25 strawberries, 5 gumdrops, 100,000 honey, 5 tickets, 5 jelly beans, 1 smooth dice, 1 royal jelly, and 1 gingerbread bear. For brown bear, we have collect 200,000 pollen with rare bees. Okay. Collect 200,000 pollen from the clover field, defeat 10 ladybugs, and I do guess from there that you will have to also collect the green plus sign sticker, the green check mark sticker, and the rewards are 3 field dice, 3 royal jelly, 1 million honey, 10 tickets, 3 whirly giggies, 1 red extra extract, blue extract, and 25 snowflakes. For the panda bear, we do have defeat 5 spiders, collect 10 tokens from wild windy beat, collect 50 snowflake tokens, 50 snowflakes, 10 stingers, 2 blueberries, 2 50k honey, 10 tickets, 1 atomic treat, 3 field dices, 1 black balloon, 1 ant pass, and 1 gingerbread bear. Polar bear over here, collect 8 million pollen from pumpkin patch and defeat 50 puff shrooms, 100 sunflower seeds, 25 bitter berries, 3 rubber duck stickers, a wishbone sticker, a giraffe sticker, 25 million honey, 15 tickets, 500 treats, 5 oils, 3 hard wax, and 3 gingerbread bears. Now for science bears, beesmus lights, you will actually need basically 3 million pollen at hive. I don't know what that is. That's like 299792 pollen at hive. You will have to collect 654k red pollen, chase 77 fireflies. That is kind of pain. I do think you will also have to get 25 moon charms, 5 neon berries, 3 simple sun stickers, 1 traffic light sticker, a paper planter, and then for the Rewards, you do get 3.2 million honey, 10 tickets, 3 enzymes, 1 glue, 3 whirly giggies, 3 micro converters, and 3 gingerbread bears. For dapper bear, we do actually have collect 2.5 million blue pollen, collect 2.5 million pollen from the cactus field, collect 4 hours of satisfying nectar, collect 100 tokens from planters, get 4 yellow coffee mugs, get a lancelot leaf sticker, a cordate leaf sticker, a haystate leaf sticker, and a spore covered mushroom sticker. And then for the rewards, you do actually have 10 million honey, 1 ticket planter, 1 satisfying vial, an elf cap, 10 soft waxes, 5 whirly gigs, and 25 snowflakes. So not so bad really, but now the harder ones. Oh yeah, also I don't exactly know if the Beesmus will be like part 1 or part 2, but I would probably think it's all just going to come out at the same time. Like there's no way it won't. Then for the Onnit's quest, we do actually have collect 25 million pollen from the mountain top. Collect 25 million pollen with gifted bees. So you do need gifted bees for this. Collect a sticker spawn 
buy your tool while gathering. Now that is actually quite hard because you either have to spend like two hours in one single field or you have to just macro in one field for a couple hours. Then also collect four green circle stickers, three happy fish stickers, a white button mushroom sticker, a porcini mushroom sticker, a flight ageric mushroom sticker and a porcelain dipper sticker and that is actually probably a hard one to do but the rewards are actually 100 million honey, one festive planter, one star jelly, peppermint antennas, a white balloon, a super smoothie and five gingerbread bears. So those quests are actually pretty good and that's basically like the part one of the usual bees mess because now we do have the part two. So spirit bear, BBM and everyone. So for the spirit bear quest we do have collect 110 million white pollen, collect 4 million goo from the rose field, collect 6 hours of satisfying nectar, match 40 pairs in the memory match games, collect 1 sticker found by your bees while gathering. Now that is kind of, actually that's easy. Donate 10 hard waxes to the wind shrine, donate 1 star jelly to the wind shrine, collect 6 small pink tulip stickers, 3 pink chair stickers, 2 shrugging heart stickers, now that is quite a hard one, a window sticker, a simple skyscraper sticker, 3 pale heart stickers, a diamond cluster sticker, then the rewards for this are 250 million honey, 1 festive planter, 10 glitters, a toy horn, 3 swirled waxes, a pink balloon and 5 gingerbread bears. So to be honest, not gonna lie, these quests are actually getting hard and I also forgot to do the Bucko Bee and the Riley Bee quest, so let me do them now. So for Bucko Bee, we do actually have collect 10 million goo from blue flowers, collect 10 million pollen from blue flower field, collect 30 tokens from blue clay planters, pop 1000 bubbles, like what? I don't think most people are actually going to be able to do this unless it has been a week of beesmas. Collect 160 snowflake tokens, use 80 snowflakes, collect a simple cloud sticker, a small dandelion sticker, a simple mountain sticker, 3 bubble one stickers, bro what? Bro is this real? Ain't no way. Bro the bubble one sticker is actually quite hard to get for most people. A blue blue square sticker, then the rewards are actually 50 million honey, 25 tickets, 25 blue extracts, a 1 star jelly, a snow globe, 1 loaded dice and 50 snowflakes. So I mean that's okay I guess, although the sticker part for this beesmas is actually going to be like real pain. For the Riley Bee Honey Day Candles quest we do have collect 10 million goo from red flowers, collect 10 million pollen from mushroom field, collect 30 tokens from red clay planters, spawn 250 flames, collect 50 soft waxes, use 20 soft waxes, collect three small flame stickers, collect six waxing crescent moon stickers, four blowing leaf stickers, three scythe stickers, again, like bro what? And I collect a red palm hand sticker. Then the rewards are actually 50 million honey, 25 tickets, 25 red extracts, one star jelly, an electric candle bee quip, two red balloons and five gingerbread bears. So I'm not gonna lie, whoever was saying, oh yeah, these quests are easy, then you're wrong. Now for stick bugger as well, I do also think that this beesmas will probably be the hardest one ever we have like not even trolling because these sticker quests are insane like just listen to the stick bug quest for example collect three billion or million pollen i don't even know i can't even tell but i think that's billion from pineapple patch two billion from clover field collect one billion from dandelion field like how much of you guys can actually collect that much like let me know in the comments collect 250 tokens from stick bug like bruh collect 150 tokens from defense totems that's probably worse than actual stick bug collect a right facing stump snail sticker now that is impossible i'm not even trolling you guys that is literally impossible i got that once in my life and barely anyone can even kill stump snail collect a forward facing spider sticker small blue chick sticker a menacing mantis sticker a little scorpion sticker a left facing ant sticker a forward facing aphid sticker a walking stick nymph sticker like omg guys this quest is gonna be impossible for most people like i'm not even trolling barely anyone is gonna complete this because these stickers are actually hard to get like i only got that once in my life and I haven't got it once again. Like that's how bad it is. Then the rewards for it, we do have 20 million or billion honey, however much that is, 100 tickets, one turpentine, a pine cone, 20 enzymes, 10 star jellies, five swelled waxes, one robo pass and 10 gingerbread bears. Then for the robo party cake quest, let's see what we got for the second ever beesmas robo bear quest. So we do have collect 16 million goo, collect 512 cogs, purchase 32 upgrades in robo bears challenge. I don't know why I said it like that. It's not even 
even hard. Defeat 32 Kog'Mawas. Okay, most people are going to struggle with this already then. Pick 16 Legendary Bees in Robo Bears Challenge. Pick 8 Rare Bees in Robo Bears Challenge. Defeat 2 Golden Kog'Mawas. Complete 1 Collect Goo Quest in Robo Bears Challenge. Collect 4 Pink Cupcake Stickers. Collect a Lightning Sticker, a Barcode Sticker, a Magnet Sticker, Electro Magnet Sticker, a Pulsar Sticker. And those are actually these tall stickers over here. So the Pulsar, this Electro Magnet and that. So you do have to do that once again. Kind of a pain. Then the rewards are actually 268 million honey, 64 snowflakes, 32 tickets, 16 stingers, 8 micro converters, 4 smooth dices, 2 caustic waxes, and 2 robo passes, and 1 sticker planter. And now we do have the honeybee. So we have make 99999 honey, complete 99999 honey conversion links, collect 9999 honey tokens, collect 999 honey tokens from Storm, collect 999 honey gift tokens, collect 99 tokens from the honey reef, collect 9 silly tongue stickers, collect 9 honey dipper stingers, collect 9 honey bee bear stickers, like bro, why is this quest bro, what is this quest? But then the rewards for it is actually 99, okay it's 99, it's basically 1 billion honey, 9 tickets, 1 pink shade, like what? 99999 treats, 9 magic beans, gingerbread bears, micro converters, purple potions, tropical drinks and star jellies. And I mean, the rewards for that aren't that bad I guess, but the only thing that is bad is the quest. But usually, Honeybee isn't even that bad for me, personally at least. But now though, the one before BBM, we do actually have collect 10 billion goo from white flowers, collect 1000 tokens from the gummy bee, use 1000 gumdrops, defeat 100 flying ants, defeat 200 party mosquitoes, complete free collect goo quests in the robo bears challenge, defeat free epic puff streams, use the blue cannon 25 times, the yellow and the red cannon, and now the cannons have actually been fixed, so you can't even use them properly. Now for all the stickers to collect, we do have a launching rocket sticker, a satin sticker, a glowing smile sticker, a white flag sticker, alert icon sticker, atom symbol sticker, four TNT stickers, precise eye sticker, buzz bomb sticker, three yellow sticky hand stickers, dark flame sticker, two black diamond stickers, and a small shield sticker like bro, how is this real? Why on it? Oh my god. Like that's hard bro. Like I was struggling to even collect most of those stickers myself at the start. Now imagine doing it twice just for all of these quests. Like that is insane. But for the rewards you do actually have 100 billion million honey. I don't even know what that is. A glowering gummy bear sticker. That's actually a really rare one. Toy drum B equip 100 tickets. 2.5k gumdrops. 100 neon berries. 10 glues. 5 caustic waxes. 5 super smoothies and 500 snowflakes. The rewards are pretty good. The quest is horrible. I still don't understand how people are saying this is easy because now we do have the BBM, I would go up there, but it's kind of not night time. Wait, do I have a night bell? Okay, I don't. But right, so for the BBM's naughty list quest, the real goat of Beesmas, we do have collect 13 billion blue pollen from the coconut field. Like, there's literally zero blue pollen there. Collect 53 billion goo from red flowers. Easy. Collect 777 911 911 911 pollen from bees. Pollen with bees. Still easy. Collect 10 billion pollen with bubble wand and that is also for free 009 at the end. Collect 3221000000 pollen with bumblebees, bro. What? Collect 4 billion with bumblebees again? No, that's bumblebees. That's different. Collect. No, please don't do this, bro. 280 million with fetch ability from puppy bee, bro. Pop 55k bubbles. That's easy. I'm not even gonna lie. That's actually easy. Get hit by snow bear snowball 114 times. Okay, that is pain. Like, that is actually bad. Oh my god, bro. I just seen the stick. How is this real? Pine tree forest stamp, rose field stamp, pumpkin patch stamp, cactus field stamp, mountain top stamp, hub field stamp. Where did my bees come from? Where were even where they at? Bro, what? Dandelion field stamp, mushroom field stamp, blue flower, sunflower, clover, pineapple, bamboo, strawberry. Then you have to collect all the basic hive skins. You have to get the royal symbol sticker, cool backpack sticker, black truffle sticker, um, shy mushroom sticker. I don't even know how to say that because that's kind of a crazy one, not gonna lie. Moral mushroom sticker, eviction sticker. Also, that mushroom sticker is actually real. Like, just look at this. Like, I'm not even like, you know, like, it's actually real. Then we have a moral mushroom sticker, eviction sticker, and a triple exclamation mark sticker. Now, we don't really have the rewards yet for this because these are all quests 
things you need to do. But BBM, I'm telling you guys right now, the BBM is actually stacked for this year. Like, it's gonna be insane. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually can't wait to do it and see how I do. Because this is my first BBM I will 100% have to complete. But yeah, so let me know what you guys actually think about all those quests. Which one is the hardest? Because yes, they are not easy. And yeah, though, make sure to check out the video that is actually over here and over here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and bye!